Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan42 and in this episode we're going to be testing out the Zero Marble Filament. This time I'm going to be testing out a different filament. This is a PLA filament. This is one that I purchased myself from uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick up one for yourself. Now I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but Zero is Z-I-R-O. Uh, but I have it connected up here. It's printing at the moment. Let's go to a quick time lapse of some things being printed and then I will talk about that. Okay, so as a test print, I thought I would try to print my own model. So I printed this. This is my uh, dwarf figurine, um, and it came out quite well. I printed it 100% infill, because I thought, I'm gonna try something out here. I'm gonna try something different, try something different with what I've been doing anyway. And I print this as 100% infill, and it has some weight to it. It has some interesting weight to it. This one didn't come out very well. And I'll tell you why. It's because there was some string in in between the head. You know, uh, I mean, the model isn't perfect anyway. There's going to be some uh, some stray filament uh, near the shoulder, and possibly at the bottom of the arm because there's nothing to hold the arm to the body. So it's just kind of like going out and putting a bit of plastic in the middle of nowhere. So that obviously isn't very uh, a good. Uh, that isn't a very good thing to do. But you know, it printed pretty nicely. The bottom was very smooth. The top was very smooth. Even the, the bits which you think would normally string didn't string. But I fine tuned some settings and I got to this. Now, this is the exact same model. I printed this uh, and you know, the parts where I think they'll be stringing, like these two little prong bits here, they are very, very small prong bits. Uh, for the Viking hat, uh, it's got like two horns or whatever. Uh, not the dwarves or Vikings or whatever, but I just thought it looked cool. There's no string in between them, and that is one part where I thought there would be some kind of string. Um, underneath the shoulder, there's not as much uh, droop bits, uh, and uh, un between the legs, there is a little bit of string. Bronze here, there's a little bit hanging off it here as well, I guess. But other than that, this print came out really nice, and with very few modification bits. You could probably make this and paint this if you wanted to paint it in, into a very nice little model. And it has the weight behind it. So it'll have a little bit more strength, I, I think, compared to normal ones of these that are printed with like 5% info. But it's nice to have that weight behind it because it doesn't take that much more filament because it's such a small model. Uh, yet. It, it feels a bit better in the hand if you were to be moving this around, I think. Um, so yeah, if I mean, if you want to learn more about that, check out the description below. I have something there which will be either called Project One or Vigo Quest, uh, <laughs> and that is uh, that is that. I have here a XYZ cube. It printed fine, printed nicely. Uh, it's fairly clean. Uh, the corners a little bit funny. Um, but I think that might be due to some settings I need to change on here. There's a tiny bit of ghosting around the Y and the X. Uh, not the Z, because obviously the Z uh, is on the top layer, so the Z won't get um, ghosting from probably the, the arms being a little bit wiggly, wobbly. But yeah, that came out perfectly fine. Uh, what else we got here? I printed a little bit of statue. Now, <laughs> I, I wasn't sure on how this would come out at first, but I think it looks quite nice. Now, granted, there is a little bit of stringing on the surface, you know, like a, just a tiny bit really, just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and maybe a little bit of uh, B 
beading, I guess you'd call it, I think it's called, uh, beading around some bits on the back and, you know, just random areas. But it doesn't really take away from the statue. Now, this is going to look a lot better in the picture because it will look massive, it will be like a full screen thing. Um, but to me, it's a very nice small statue. And I think in this filament, something like this, a little like maybe an outdoor ornament or something where it will be, it will look good in stone. I have a few other things coming up in the in uh, over the coming weeks that will be going uh, in this filament, just because the way it looks and the way that it could be um, brought forward to, to make it like go with other things that it should kind of go with, if you know what I mean. Next we have the two boats. So. I printed a Boaty at first. I think this was my first print with the printer. If not, maybe the Marvins that I printed in the last video. More about that in either the next or the previous video. This uh, one printed pretty badly. This one printed pretty awfully. And I think this might have been after the print changed. Uh, there's string in everywhere. This would, no, this would be before. Before I changed the print head. And this is why I changed the print head. Uh, because I looked at this and I thought, ah, that's just awful. I looked at some videos online of other people's prints and stuff like that, and I thought, wow, you know, like, these people are printing, and sure, yeah, maybe they, they tinkered with their prints for a very long time, you know, they fine-tuned it to the perfect specification that they need. I was under the, the impression that I could do something like that too, um, and, you know, I tried for ages to get different configurations right, and then, you know, the bed will need levelling again, and configurations will change, and then you need to do this and that and this and that. I just want to print a now that it's very simple to use um, and one that I can focus on projects with. Uh, now I don't know about this one here because I mean I keep wanting to do a project with it but I don't know what um, and I, it's you know when, when I want to print something that's quite small um, that needs to be in a chamber I guess it would be a go-to printer like it'd be a, the, the, the settings on it aren't aren't bad you can print fairly decently with it um, this is not a good example, but you know, it does print, uh, <laughs> and it prints quite well, uh, and if the settings were fine tuned then obviously it would print a little bit better. This is what I got after tweaking the settings for this printer a lot more, uh, and at the moment I am also printing another boat, um, but that's only just because I wanted to test it at 100 mils a second instead of just uh, 50 which is what I normally do. Now the quality on that one <laughs> does look really good. The quality on the one that's coming through looks really good especially for something that's going at 100 millimeters a second and I think it was 5% infill. Um, this one uh, is actually uh, four, uh, 50 I think well, maybe 60 millimeters a second. It has some string in. There's a really weird artifact, artifact at the bottom in which uh, it kind of it's on a stilt, uh, like it wants to hold itself up, but it doesn't need that, which is very strange. Uh, and it also gets rid of that itself later on to print a very nice boat on the top bit. So I don't know why it did that, but I'm just kind of glad that it stopped it itself. Other than that, it's a fairly perfect print, I'd say, because I can I can deal with a little bit of stringing from time to time. It's not like a huge deal. But yeah, that is about it for this printer, this filament, uh, that I'm gonna be doing a review on anyway. Next up, I will be doing some cool uh, 3D showcase stuff with this, which will be showcasing other cool uh, things that I find online and things that I think would look good with this filament. So if you guys have anything that you want me to print with this filament, or something that you think would look good in this filament, or something you've made yourself which you think would look good, or not even just with this filament, with any kind of filament, because I'm I'm I want to help bring people's uh, 3D creations to other people, and that is what I'm trying to get here. <laughs> In the sense of uh, 3D showcases, I want to get uh, I, want, I want a place where we can share creations, where everyone can learn a bit, and everyone can uh, you know utilize some really cool things that you would not usually find with 3D printing. And that's why I call it 3D Showcase. Um, just to showcase cool ideas and functional prints. And you know, even 
visual prints and stuff like that, you know, or aesthetic prints. I think that's the right word for that. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm doing this for. And you know, if you can help in any kind of way, if you want to, you know, showcase anything that you find or that you uh, want to show, then do let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like and share the video with like you know people who may also be interested in this. Um, that's what I'm trying to get here. That's what I want to do. That's what I really enjoy doing is to, to, to try and bring people together in, in this whole this whole maker scene at the moment. Because it's looking really good. It's looking really good, the maker scene at the moment, and I'm really enjoying being part of it. But anyway, that's enough rambling. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me think, follow me on Twitter, that's at 42 And thanks for watching.